Hi Intune friends, in this video we're going to create something called kiosk mode. So normally in uh, companies you might have a desktop or a laptop in the reception or for an event where you, anyone can use it. So for people who are not in your company because you can't create a user account if you invite 1000 people for an event. So this kiosk machine will just stay there and maybe have a form for a survey or showing the menu or something that just display one app. So you can't use the computer for something else than what your purpose is. So I'm gonna take a more childish uh, approach to this. I'm gonna have uh, this arcade game on uh, this machine starting up. So if I restart it, it's gonna automatically log in and start this arcade game so you can play. So it's gonna be this machine here starting with 33. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to need a few things. It's fairly easy. I don't think it's going to be a long video saying that. It's probably going to be a long video. But if we go again under intune.microsoft.com as normal, then we go devices. We're going to do a Windows kiosk mode. And I just take this machine name because this is going to be my uh, kiosk one. And then we're going to create the configuration profile. Just before that, let's create an Enter ID group to assign this uh, configuration profile with this machine in. So let's click on Groups. Let's create a new group. And here is, remember, one I have used, GBN Kiosk uh, Bubble Bubble, because that's the game and the kiosk. And description, game machine, perfect. Owner, not so important, but I like to put uh, who is the owner. Because if you're many in your company, it's nice to know, hey, who have created the, the, this group? And the member, it's the one we're going to target. So I'm going to paste, and it's probably going to show up two machines. Yeah, it's actually only one. It's because I migrated this to another Hyper-V. So one should be removed. But I add both. One's going to be the correct one. So we create the group just to have that done. So now it's going to bake here for a while. So once we have created our configuration profile, the group's going to be ready with my device. So let's go to device, devices. Then we go Windows because it's going to be a Windows kiosk machine again. And we can create a configuration. And we have a few configuration here from previous uh, videos. Let's create a new one, a new policy. Platform, well, it's going to be Windows 10 or later and later. Here, profile, it's going to be a template. And we already have something down here called the kiosk. So uh, let's click on that one and create. Then we need a name, see if we remember. Nope, let's call this one. We don't need um, bubble, bubble. It's an old game, by the way. And I think I didn't spell that correctly. Bubble, bubble, uh, game arcade or something like that and the description is so good that uh, the name is so good that it can be the description also configuration items so here starts the fun so we have to configure it single app or multi app we're gonna just have one app so if we click here we have just one app then use the logon type since this is gonna be just in my hall that anyone can come in from the street then I want it auto login you can create a local user account. If you do auto login, it does that for you. You can have enter a user, but yeah, I want it really kiosk mode. So just auto login. Application, application type, there uh, I thought it was two. No, it's um, since it can run on the browser. So Edge legacy browser probably doesn't even work on Windows 11. That's the one before they created Microsoft Edge more new that it's actually the same engine as Google Chrome. Kiosk browser is also interesting, but then you need to install extra app and you can just take any store apps if you have also, but I, I want to run in a browser. Then I have my URL. Ah, it remember, perfect. Then uh, this is the URL for this game. So it's just gonna automatically log in. So the user don't need to, well, it can't even put the username or password. Start the Edge browser, start this uh, URL and it's going to be in public browsing in private. Actually, not. Because if we give it public browsing in private, they can change whoever uses it, the URL, and go to uh, something else. And no, I want only people to play this game. So I'm going to do digital interactive signage in private. That's going to be only this URL possible. 
if no one plays or stack, we can, if it's idle for five minutes, I think it's minutes, pretty sure it is, uh, idle time in minutes, yep, after five minutes, it's going to refresh, if no one uses it. And I don't need any maintenance on this machine, that's fine, I'm just going to keep this game for one day, so I keep that not configure, configured. So we go next, scope tags, we don't really uh, no, need, <laughs> I have only one extra, so we can do we'll skip that. Assignment, here is the group we created, so I know it had the kiosk in the name, there it is, so it should have one uh, one machine. It says two devices, but it's because I have uh, the same twice. Go next. Then we can add application rule. For example, don't assign profile only if OS edition is uh, uh, HoloLens or something. Definitely don't want that. I have only one machine. I want that to apply to that one. But you have the option here. So let's create our uh, bubble bubble. I hope I spelled that correct. Game Arcade. arcade. So that one is created. Now comes the waiting waiting game. I don't think it's spelled like that. I think it's ah doesn't matter. Um, now we just have to wait that it will be assigned to my device. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back once this has been assigned. Then we're gonna restart this machine. Gonna just uh, restart it. It has some updates also. Uh, and when it come back. I'm going to show when I restarted actually, then it's going to come back in uh, kiosk mode for this machine. Okay, so see you soon. Okay, we are back. As you can see on the screen here, we have one succeeded. So hopefully that is our device here. It is perfect. We can click on it and see perfect. It have assigned all those things. Oh, it's four things in it. Perfect. Then let's go to the device. So I already restarted this device before just to get rid of the update. So those are no longer there. But let's uh, restart this one. And when it comes back up, it should be uh, kiosk mode. Okay, it's powering up. It logs in automatically as a kiosk. Apparently it's getting things ready for you. So I guess before putting this live, could um, could have that done before and then restart again for users. Okay, that was fairly quick. So this is comes from the web page. It's a bit of uh, things and feedback and play now. So it's working um, very good. So here is the game. Uh, I'm I'm not in enhanced mode, so now I can play my favorite game. I'm gonna give myself one credit. Okay, and as you see, I can do nothing else. I can't change URL if I want to use something else here. Uh, I mean, I can. Uh, I can go and play another game on this web page, obviously, but I can't change the page. I can't right click. I can't leave this page. So if I don't do anything for five minutes, it's going to um, restart this. If I restart this machine, well, we can try that. So let's say someone, um, let's say someone, well, let's do a shutdown and they put it back. Well, it's going to go back into this uh, kiosk mode. Log in, welcome, and bam, we are there. Still getting all this, uh, of course. So you could, in your uh, kiosk, you could just uh, put um, whatever you want to have there. Maybe your intranet, maybe a web page, maybe a form, or anything. So for once, we got a pretty short uh, video. So the basic, just create a um, policy type uh, kiosk. Uh, configuration profile and modify your values that you want uh, well we can look a bit more at the other values maybe so uh, single app was this and 
application. You can do a kiosk mode here and then put another URL. And then you need, I think it's written here. Uh, before you begin, go to Mobile Apps Blade and make sure the kiosk browser app is assigned to your kiosk device. So if, if you don't have that, it's not going to work. Here, however, you can upload um, here, however, you can upload the CSV file with 500 URLs. So you can only, so if people try to reach something else, so you, at least you have the URLs that you, people should uh, visit. If not, it's pretty much the same. I would not, the uh, Edge Legacy Browser, I would not recommend that, um, probably for Windows 10. Um, then we have an App Store. Of course, you must have that app. Uh, the, and that's going to run. I only have two, so if I wanted Power BI, could have that, and then people can use that app. Uh, why not? Uh, what else do we have? It must be configured if you said not. Well, that makes sense, right? You must have something. Uh, auto log on. We spoke about that before. Uh, if you don't put the, this digital, I mentioned that also, public browsing, then they can change and go wherever they want. So don't recommend that either. I think it's not so much uh, settings if you want to run it in kiosk mode. Well, we had multi-app uh, in S mode. Yeah, you, you don't want S mode, most often not. And then you have a lot more, you can run multiple things. So this is also pretty interesting. Maybe you should do another video about that. But I like this uh, single app full mode, uh, full screen mode that uh, you have one purpose for this machine, uh, so anyone can uh, use it. Okay, short video. Thank you very much. See you in another video.